Hello everybody, this is a Lighthouse Hall of Fame film from the European server again. We're with Sebastian Potato in his WZ-131. In Siegfried Line, Assault, Defense. One artillery apiece. And two scouts apiece. Three heavies at the top of each lineup and then the lineups really differ. He ends up with four mediums two more heavies and three TDs. The enemy team only has two mediums, three TDs, and a bunch more heavies. So the enemy team has bigger force. His team has a more mobile force. Kind of the opposite of what you'd want. You want more mobility on offense and big heavy tanks on defense, but... should play out well for a 131 because it's uh, only a tier 8 battle. He's a tier 7, so that's a pretty good matchup for him. He's going to run this ridge, get spot all the way along the northern quarter here. I think, oh, I, think I was thinking he was going to try to sneak up there and take out the Panther and somebody beat him to it. The M12 got him. So... He waits until that 112 is looking the other way and then he pulls forward, gets two shots off, and then somebody takes him out. RHM got the kill. The idea isn't in most situations that you're going to play Wild Wild West and beat somebody on your trigger finger and you're going to shoot faster than they are and that's going to keep them from shooting you. The idea is wait until they're looking somewhere else and then shoot them. That way you don't get shot in return. Hit points are a precious thing. Normally. Sometimes you can't help but being a shootout. But most of the time, especially early on, it doesn't help to lose hit points and trade people. Play for the safe shot and you'll like it a lot better later in the battle. Then, if you have to give up a shot to get a kill you have the hit points left to do it. So they're starting to blow people away here in the north. The CDC's still up here somewhere, probably to his right. No! Yeah, he is. There's the 8.8 .8 sitting way back out in the field. That's good to know. He's going to pull up here and try to get a flanking shot on the, F5, on the 5100. Kill. So you're watching and you see that Type 59 cruising up there along the base. You know he's going to try to pop up and chase you out of where you're at. But he's scared to come over the top. He doesn't want to commit all the way on it. So Sebastian was hoping to get a shot on the Tiger II. He backed out of there. That 8.8 .8 is a problem sitting out there. He's not looking at him though. He got proxy spotted by the AMX. 8.8 is .8 booking. CDC is way down at the other end, which means he can blow this guy away. Can't really go out after the 8.8 .8 right yet. He can shoot him, but he can't chase him. The tanks down here will have shots at him if he tries to go out and engage this guy. One thirty-one also got, I believe, a little bit of a. Uh, a reload buff in this last patch. Ah, 
Ah, he just keeps hitting the side of the tank instead of the front. The side's too much of an angle to penetrate right now. If he pulls all the way over in the corner, well, it doesn't matter now. 8.8 .8 died. And the Panther pulled up without realizing where he had gone and lets him get in behind him. Panther better be careful, he's going to hang himself up. Now he has to try to get out of the line of fire from the 59. 59's looking at the other tank, not at him. Strange. Now you die. Three tanks to go, and he has four kills already. 3,470 damage and counting. It's nice when almost every tank's looking at another tank and not you. It makes this easy job. I'm gonna try to wrap around and splat this guy. Yes. <laughs> That's always the hazard of trying to go through those gates. Sometimes you pull it too tight and hit that wall, and bam, you stop okay when you're in a situation like this where you're just playing to get a kill but not good if you're scouting and have to get through that wall to escape kill five 100 mic to go he has them all lined up just waiting to get loaded and now get over the hill Oh, this is ram territory if you have to. Didn't quite get there. So he ends up with five kills. Got 4,245 damage in a 131. Five kills. 23 of 26 shooting, 88%. 1,741 assisted damage in nine spots. Earned 48,895 credits. And he got 2,954 XP and survived the fight. Got a high caliber and a scout medal, and then added in spotter, bruiser, demolition expert, fighter, and fire for effect mini medals. Gives him a battle score 3,029, second place on the 131 list, which has that crazy high score in first place up around 3,700 or something. So he runs up gets the early spots on the north side then he likes to stay up here a lot of people go way up north to the very far end into the a row he stays down here and works the depression and um, get shots as he saw down into town here as the tanks come up through here he has flanking shots on him and if somebody pops over up here he can just pull forward and get shots up there and if the opportunity arises he can pull forward this way and get shots out here so it's a fairly flexible position. You have to be really careful though that these tanks don't start shooting north. As long as they're engaged into the town it works really well. The moment they decide you're the better target and look north you gotta skedaddle out of there. He didn't go very far this fight. A little over two kilometers just up here and then down and around and that ends the fight rock back and forth a lot something where if you're going to play where he does you absolutely have to pay attention to the mini map watch how people are shifting back and forth out here because they know where you're at you get spotted a lot and they'll try to pop up and flank you and catch you looking the wrong way too so you really have to pay attention to the mini map and be aware of who is potentially going to be looking at you in the next 10 to 20 seconds and then position your tank accordingly so they can't see you and hopefully you can still get shots on another target. If you're going to try it, just be aware you're probably going to die a couple times until you figure out how to get away with doing it correctly. And you have to be ready to bail at all times if these guys decide to turn around and shoot you. But Sebastian likes playing there. He's real comfortable there. And he knows when to get out of dodge if, the, if he has to before he dies. From Siegfried Line, Assault, Defense. Racking up some big damage numbers. Happy hunting.